Rob G out here, 29th August. Got the horizontal and elevators off and uh, getting ready to jack it up and swing the gear up. Okay, got the tail off, got the landing gear retracted, lower cowling off. And you can see the damage on the left side of the nose gearbox. This is the pivot for the down lock. Completely broke in half. Rob G here, getting ready to move this T28A from Cuba, Missouri to Vichy, Missouri, about a, I don't know, 30 miles away. Got to repair the nose gear box. So now I've got the flaps off. Got to still unhook a few things up inside ready to pull the wing and fuselage apart. Took the tail off because it's 16 feet wide or something. So those come off fairly easy. The uh, T28, the horizontal stabilizers and elevators are interchangeable left and right. You can put them on either side. The, trim tabs and everything work just fine. <clears throat> I think the ailerons are also interchangeable and the main landing gear are interchangeable left and right. So this A model has the smaller engine, the 1300 Curtis Wright, 1300 cubic inch. This one's had a three-bladed propeller put on it. They had a two-bladed originally. Had a nose wheel shimmy on takeoff. Got it stopped. Didn't collapse the gear, but it came real close so I got to rebuild this area here for the new owner it was totaled out by the insurance company Came out here to pull the rudder and the tip cap off so we'll, we won't be over height on the trailer. It's gonna be probably a couple of inches too high the way it is. So this tip cap is about a foot that comes off and then the rudder and that's what I had to do on the one I hauled from California. So, the uh, crane is still here. 
we're planning on Monday morning loading up and getting them to Vichy. I figured out uh, how we can do it without pulling that engine off. So, hope everything goes right Monday morning. Got the fuselage loaded and tied down. Got the wing loaded, tying it there. <laughs> Getting ready to head to Vichy. They probably won't unload the fuselage today. They're gonna get a smaller crane that'll go inside the hangar. Um, but I can unload this wing with a forklift and then get that truck out of there and then tomorrow we'll unload the fuselage. Okay, we got the fuselage off and on the floor. Next step will be to remove the engine. Everything went pretty smooth.